Please welcome the lovely Emmy Rossum. I am not an English gentleman, actually. I'm a, a Scottish, Scottish gentleman. Scottish gentleman well, yeah. British gentleman. Well, yeah, we're all the same, really. Aren't we? <laughs> we're all the same. Aren't you lovely? Oh, What's a lovely you. young woman. Thank Fresh you. as a daisy, aren't you? <laughs> Fresh as a daisy. I would hope so. No, you are. You're lovely. <laughs> now, listen, the, uh, the, uh, the, you do the singing and you do the acting. Because mm -hmm. I saw you in the Mystic River and you're lovely. Right. But that's very intense. Yeah. Very intense. And then the Phantom of the Opera, lots of singing. Also intense, but singing. Right. Yeah. What do you prefer, the singing or the acting? What comes first? Well, you know, acting, acting is my, is, is my real passion. Right. It's, it came second. Singing started first for me. You started as a singer? I started as a singer when I was seven, actually. My kindergarten music teacher sent right. me to the Metropolitan Opera to audition. At seven years old? At seven, yes. At the Metropolitan Opera in New York? Yes. That's a bit of a leap, isn't it? Kindergarten, yeah. Metropolitan Opera. Yeah. What happened? You must have been singing before that. Somebody thought, you know, she can sing. Yeah, I, I had always loved music. And it's funny because my parents are actually kind of tone, ba tone deaf. Are they really? Yes. Well, not, what a waste. Not, good. Yeah. But, but yeah, I always loved music and I can't remember a time when I wasn't kind of banging a beat on the dining room table and I was just, I loved music from the time I was little. And so you're, you, you're seven years old. Mm -hmm. You get sent to the Metropolitan Opera to audition. Did you get the job? Yes. Really? Yes. You were singing with the Metropolitan Opera at, at seven years old? Somehow, yes. Okay. I went What and, did you uh, sing at the audition? Actually, I went and I had prepared all these songs that I'd learned in school growing up. Right. And all they wanted to hear was Happy Birthday. Really? <laughs> and I don't know why, but people don't actually know that Happy Birthday is kind of a difficult song to sing. Oh, it is. I always screw it up. Which is probably why it yeah. kind of... <laughs> It's, I can never no, it remember is. the words. Ha I'm happy it. birthday, dear. Oh, I forget. Happy birthday. It actually has an octave leap. So they oh. played it in about 12 different keys. And then they said, welcome to the opera. Ah. Oh, they said, welcome to the opera. Yeah. At the audition. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bit gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going straight on stage and there's like big, large, fat ladies singing away. And, and you're 10 years old. What, what do you sing? La, la. No, no. You know, there are children's parts in all of the, the big operas, and I was on stage That's with fascinating, Placido I think. Domingo and, and Denise Graves and big Zeffirelli productions with all these real animals on stage. So it was really. That's fantastic. Was, it felt really special. Any cash in that? You got any money for doing it? Five bucks a night. Five bucks a night? Yeah. And there was actually a horse on stage with me that was getting 150. <laughs> So it's the moment, I think, that you realize when you're valued less than livestock that you really know that you're there because you love it. Well, 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 hang on a second. A singing horse is worth 150 bucks an hour. Actually, you know, there is this story that I hadn't remembered until just now when a woman, who is actually quite large, went on stage and was singing this big aria, and there was a dog on stage with her that started howling with her. <laughs> and it made the cover of the New York Times, actually. Does, it, does the dog get a bonus? Uh, no, I think, he, I think he probably got fired. Really? Probably, yeah. So, you can't be working all the time. What do you do to relax? What do you do to unwind? Do you go to the discos with the young kids and shake your freaky boogie? <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever heard it quite described that way. <laughs> um, I'm from another country. No. <laughs> Actually, I'm, it doesn't look like it right now because I'm, I kind of get dressed up and get feminine. But well, you look lovely, oh, yeah. Thank you. But yeah. I, I, I'm kind of outdoorsy. Really? I like to hike and I love fishing actually. Fishing? I love to be out on the ocean, yeah. I went to Alaska when I was seven and I was fishing there, salmon fishing. And seven was a big year for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a good year for me. Yeah, Alaska, the yeah. Metropolitan Opera, it was yeah. just so fabulous and international. You were everywhere. <laughs> so you went fishing in Alaska, what did you catch? Salmon. Really? Forty salmon in one day actually, but I believe, I believe in releasing everything, so I never... Ah, I see. So you catch all the fish but you yeah. send them back. Well, that's good. But you know, I was recently in, uh, right after I finished Phantom, we worked on the movie for eight months. So after mm -hmm. that, I wanted to take a few days off. Right. And I decided to go to the Caribbean fishing with some of my friends. Right. So we went down and, and I don't know what it is about me and fishing, but whenever I go out, I always get a bite. I don't know why. I'll bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll bet you do. Uh, I, I yes. said you were a gentleman. I am a gentleman. I... I I didn't mean like that. I didn't okay. mean like that. I just, I just meant you were probably very good at fishing. 
Yeah. And so you get a bike, what happened? Did you catch anything in the Caribbean? Yes. Shark? Yeah. Yes, I did. did no, no kidding, a shark? Yes, I did. Really? I did. It, I, I, you know, we'd been out fishing all day. Oh, look, there's a picture. Yeah, yeah shark. that's him. It took me 45 minutes to get him to the top. And it was just like he, he bit, just like he bit, bit in Jaws. It was like tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick. And it went down. Really? Yeah. Did the boat go down? No. Were you drunk? Were you drunk no. and telling stories about when you were on the aircraft carrier and it sunk during the war and all I'm that? I'm underage. Oh, yeah. Of course, you can't drink yet. Can no. You? Well, when you do, it's fabulous. Okay. You know, I have to say, it's really worth doing. It's really worth doing, isn't it? Isn't it, guys? <laughs> Now, in the Phantom of the Opera, you play Christine. You work with uh, with a Scotsman, Jerry Butler. Mm -hmm. He's in that film. Now, mm -hmm. I heard that you cooked a bit for Jerry. Is that right? It is very true. You're yeah. a cook as well. Did you cook I him some cooked. fish? Um, yeah, I cooked him lamb. I cooked him fish. And why you know, did you cook for him? Well, you know, the, in the film, the Phantom and Christine have a bond that's been over so many years of their life, and they have shared so much together. So we really wanted to create a f friendship too. Right. So he would take me to concerts at Royal Albert Hall, and I would cook for him. I think you were, it sounds like you are being a bit of a servant, if you don't mind me saying so, eh? He's well, he, getting he you to bought, cook? He bought me tickets to Royal Albert Hall, oh, well, to a great enough, concert. Yeah. Great concerts? Yeah. All right, then. Um, and it's funny because every Scottish guy that I've met, mm -hmm. whenever he finds out that I cook, mm -hmm. wants me to cook him haggis. It's true. I, I would like you to cook me some haggis. So, in anticipation <laughs> of you asking me that very question, yes, and because this is your one-week anniversary, Thank you. I made you a cake. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a lovely girl. What a lovely girl. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And this cake has traveled 3,000 miles. I made it in New York, and I brought it through JFK and LAX, and they put it through the x-ray machine, the whole thing. Oh, so I'm going to let you take the first bite, because I'm not sure what the x-rays have done to it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, but I, I kind of knew you were coming tonight. I suspected you might bring a cake. So I got you... Don't tell me you brought haggis. I got you uh, somewhere I have here. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, Joe, bring it out. There you are. There it is. Haggis. Look at that, huh? We'll have the cake for dessert. Got some lovely haggis. Would you like a bit of haggis? Is it really haggis? It's really haggis, yeah. You've got to cut through the fleece. Uh... There. Did you make it? Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, you want some? Do you really want me to eat it? Why do you think I left Scotland? <laughs> to get away. To get away from the haggis. Is no, it... don't eat it. Okay. We'll have some cake. Okay. We'll have some cake, and we'll be right back. The Phantom of the Opera opens nationwide January 21st. We will be right back. Do you want cake or haggis? <laughs> Like the last time you were here, you were just a little girl. I was a wee thing. You were tiny. I, was a wee you were, thing. I think you were five. I was. You were a tiny. Day. It was just after Phantom of the. Um... Yeah, I was about twelve. Right. Yeah, you were yeah. very young. <laughs> and now look at you. You're all grown up and uh, great. You too. Yes, I. I am afraid I've gone very grey. <laughs> all over. I don't want to know about that. You sure? No, I'm good. All right. I'm good with what that. What about a cat? Do you have a cat? I do have a cat. And how wrinkly is it? <laughs> Why are you so actually I have a cat because I adopted a cat because I thought it had cancer, but it turned out it didn't have cancer. Oh, I was great. trying to do That's the right thing. News. That's good news. And now I have a cat for like 25 years. So. Well, I yeah. actually, contrary to what you would think, I actually adore cats. I just, I got, do you ever start saying something and you can't stop saying it even although you know it's wrong? Yes. <laughs> When did that happen to you? Well... <clears throat> Have you ever played Ouija? Have you ever done yeah, that? Yeah, but that's fake. Ooh. Everyone just, like, moves it. No, no, it's, it's no. real. No. It's real. It's real. I'm not into that one. I'm into the other ones, like Risk and Settlers did of Did you just Japan. smell your finger? You just smelled your finger right no, there. No, I was... No, you did. I you was went, I'm into, you went, I'm into Risk. I was... You smelled your finger? No, I was doing it. That's my world domination. Oh, oh, right. I see. That's... Oh, that's how you win at Risk? You pretend to be Hitler? <laughs> 
No, but have you ever seen the website of cats that look like Hitler? No, I can't oh believe God. I haven't. Please yeah. do yourself a favor and Google cats that look like Hitler. Do you know? Do this you know is that, what I do in my spare time. I, uh, listen, they have a, the little like mustache, yeah. and the little like darkness over like the hair. Oh, uh, yeah, so I know what Hitler looks like. I, so I know. Yeah. Okay, well I'm not sure. Do people dress their cats like Hitler? No, the cats naturally look like Hitler. <laughs> They have the color markings. They put like Hitler's the little... face up and then a cat that looks like Hitler. That's weird. It's really I'm good. in the website men that look like lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, no, I am. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I've got a bit of a thing. A thing? Yeah, I was in New Orleans for Super Bowl and I think I caught something. Okay. Frog's legs. You ever eaten frog's legs? No. Oh, it's awful. Not frog's legs, not caviar, not snails. snails. No, can't do it. Burgers? Yes. Oh, well, there you are. Then. Bacon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would yeah, you yeah. eat? Would you eat? Not cats. Well, I was going to ask. Look. <laughs> if I, have, you were... I have eaten alligator, though. Well, that's not a cat, though. No, but that's we're talking about weird things people have eaten. Well, I've eaten alligator too. It's like a chewy chicken. It tasted like cat to me. Did it? <laughs> I know I'm going to get in such trouble for this, and I don't mean it. That's the okay. problem. I, I, I'm concerned about my safety. Do you like cats? I do like cats. Do you feel like the, the organization of cats is going to, like, come to your house Oh, and cats don't you? organize. They, they're not that... <laughs> they're very kind of... They're like, meh, whatever. You know, it's not the cats that worry me. It's the people that think they own the cats that worry me. You think the cats own the people? Well, yes, cats own people, definitely. You've just done a film about magic. Cats are magic, aren't they? That's uh, true. Is there and a magic cat, cat in the film? My cat did convince me that she had cancer, and she didn't, and that's why I took her, and then she pulled one over me, and now she lives in Beverly Hills. So you've so. got, like, the... <laughs> you've got the Breaking Bad cat. That cat mm -hmm. is probably making crystal meth in your garage. Probably. <laughs> she actually does like to spend the evenings in the garage. Wait, she's in the garage with Jesse, and they've got a big on machine going car, on. Sometimes I'll drive my car out of the garage, and there are all these little, like, paw prints that I'm like, she's been here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's been here making crystal meth. Making meth. Yeah. It's the meth dust. What's the film about? <laughs> the film? Are any cats harmed in this film? No. No, 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 no. Great, let's talk about the film. It then. is uh, about Wicca. It's about, it's about a family of casters. Those are witches that right. live in the South. And there are light casters and dark casters. And my character has been claimed for the dark when she was 16. Oh. So I'm a very... And I have the power of manipulation, especially of men. Yeah, yeah that's not that unusual, Type really. I, I, no, <laughs> no you, that's not really a witchcraft thing. I've seen that. Maybe it is. Maybe, Maybe it are, is. I, I don't know. They are. Oh, boy. So the movie's about a young Are you girl. a Gryffindor in the movie or a Slytherin? No, yeah. although I have neither. Different, different kind of witch. Oh, really? I'm a Gryffindor anyway, so it's fine. I was, have you been to Harry Potter World? <laughs> no, ma'am. I, I have not. been to Harry Potter yeah, World. Yeah, you can go. I can have a 50... Unless I take my kids, I can't go. I'm a 50-year-old guy. If I go there on my own, it's like, hey, everybody. I, no, no. You're like the old... Yeah, I'm like, like, like hey! <laughs> Here comes Mr. Slytherin. They no, have I... They have it in Florida. They have it in Florida. They I have know it in they... Florida. You can go and drink butter beer, and they have the sorting hat that... Did you... What's butter beer? Did you have it? Yeah, I had it. It's like ginger ale. I expected it to be kind of like buttery and creamy and kind of effervescent, but it wasn't. Yeah, that's what I would yeah. have thought. What is it? It's just like it's ginger ale with a butter beer label on it? Yeah. Jeez, those Slytherins. Those Slytherin bastards. They get you every time. Yeah. Every time. Are you a big fan of Harry Potter? Then? I am a big fan of like magical books and everything. And really? Our movies. Have you ever practiced the dark arts? <laughs> well, I'm actually practicing them right now. Oh. Hey, shut up! You're you're in. I'm not. Yeah. No. No. Although I did have a brief period when I was 14 when I thought I was really cool. I wore all black and kind of would would go to like Wicca stores and thought I was. Really oh, cool. I, I think everyone goes through that. Did I... you have that when you were a 14 year old girl? I did, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I, I had that for a long time. Like, all my 20s, I was drunk, wore black, and thought I was magic the whole time. <laughs> I wasn't You still magic. are. No, no, but oh. thanks for touching my hat. You're welcome. I like, has your dress got bits cut in it that you can see through? Uh-huh. Great. <laughs> It's one of it's it's a magical illusion though. You think you can see through it, you can't. I'm happy with thinking I can see through it. <laughs> so I, I mean, told her I was practicing my dark arts. Yeah, right no, now. it's fantastic. So yeah, I'm not actually welcome. seeing through in it. I'm just what am I what am I looking at then? <laughs> the surrounding skin area? I don't know. That works for me. Yeah. We have to take a break. Okay. W would you care to hang around during the commercial break? Yeah, I guess I could. Okay, now we'll be right back with Emmy Russell. We'll be right back.
here they are. Hope so. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Amy Rossum, who's going travelling this summer, right? I hope so. Where are you going to go? Well, I just got back from Russia. I'd like to go I back. loved Russia. Where did you go in Russia? Just Moscow. Oh, just Moscow? We Moscow. were there for, well, I was only there for like 20 hours. Oh, so it right. took longer to get there and, and back. Yeah, why, why 20 hours? Were you we promoting were there the movie? We were there for promoting, oh, yeah. Right, okay. Do you know when I was there, you were talking about Risk earlier, I met a fellow who is from Irkutsk. Irkutsk? Irkutsk. It's one of the territories you can dominate. In, in uh, Risk? In Risk. There's Irkutsk yeah. and Yamchaka and all those places you're like... Man, well, you've they... played this recently, haven't you? I play this every year with all of my friends. You really do? Yeah, I have friends. Did you... I believe you. I... <laughs> Did you play Dungeons and Dragons a bit when you were younger too? No, but I do play Settlers of Catan. Settlers Have you ever of played Catan. That? No. Hey, 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 hey! Ten points off Gryffindor. Any more of that? <laughs> Settlers of Catan. It's about um, settling this island called Catan, and you uh, have to acquire ten victory points, and you can do that in various different ways. But basically, it's about kind of um, trading. Uh, resources that you would this need. This sounds Hold awful. On. No, no. It's amazing. You have to like acquire it, like brick. You have to fill in and... forms and apply. For... This sounds like my life. It doesn't sound like. If you do it while drinking, it's an excellent. Well, thing. I can't do that anymore, though. I have to find things that are genuinely entertaining because I I don't drink anymore. So I have to, you know. Oh. See, I can't just like find anything. Go, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm drunk off my ass. I have to. <laughs> I have to find things that are entertaining. How did you do in New Orleans, not drinking? That's like a super boozy town. I. I ended up getting two tattoos. That's how edgy I was when I was Right now? There. Well, not right two now. Two new ones? Yeah, I got, I got two new ones. What are they? Tattoos. <laughs> Where are they? You have to win ten victory points before <laughs> I show you. I don't have any. any victory tattoos? points or tattoos. No, do you, you don't have any ink, do you? You can't do I don't. No. I have any ink. Ooh, that was very, like, mmm of you. Mm -mm. Like, mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know what that was. I don't know either, but I liked like it. Like Upper East Side. Like, that's my gang, that's my gang side. It's <laughs> not Upper East Side? Upper East Side is not nice, gang yeah. side. No, it's not good. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, well, did you, did you get drunk a lot when you were down there? A little bit. Well, That's kind of you. the only thing there is to do. No. Besides eat and all the culture and the music, but everything. Oh yeah, but apart from that, all you the rest to do is get it drunk. It all kind of seems like, well, do you want a beer while you're at it? Oh, do you want a shot of this while R you're at Russia's it? Russia's yeah. like that too. Russia's like, you have vodka. It's like I can't drink it. I'm an alcoholic. They're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah, no, it's crazy. It is. They're like, how are you alcoholic? You are alive. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're out of time. Um, <laughs> do you want anything? I, uh, I got I some beads. Uh, some, I think we've got some I would Canadian like, money. I'd like some kind of hat or so, some kind of prop. Uh, I would take okay. a prop. Uh, do you want the tiny little hat? Make, yes. That'll make your head look huge. No, no. I'll All right, then.